Now we're on chapter nine, lesson five, numerical patterns. Um, ever since kindergarten and probably before, we've been looking for patterns, whether it's red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, what comes ne next, red, or, um, or they're simple patterns like one, one, three, five, seven, what goes next, nine. Numerical patterns are referring to numbers and patterns are referring to something that you can predict what is coming next because um, there's a certain order to it. There's a certain rule. And what we're going to be calling them are rules. So right here, you guys will be creating rules. And they've kind of given you sentence frames to start by. So complete the rule, which is like a pattern that describes how one, which is the description of what the pattern is, that describes how one sequence is related to the other. Sequence meaning how is our X related to our Y? How is the number of laps re related to the number of yards? So sequencers, you're comparing these two things. Use the rule to find the unknown term. Here they're telling you, multiply the number of laps. Look at where the number of laps is. And if you keep in mind, we're doing coordinate grids, so this is kind of like our X. So multiply the X by what to find the number of yards? And here's the number of yards. Um, and I'm just gonna circle it so I can use a different type of thing. And over here is kind of when we've been doing coordinate grids, our y. So how do we get from x to y? It needs to be a certain rule that happens to all of these numbers. So let's list our list out our x and y's. Our x here and our y. This is our input and our output. How do we get from this number to this number? So Here's our x, 4. How do we get from 4 to 200? What mathematical pattern, what mathematical rule can we get from 4 to 200? Now they kind of gave us a hint and we're gonna multiply. If they didn't give us that hint, I would say, how do we get from 4 to 200? We're getting bigger. Which two operations get bigger? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. And the two that get bigger would be addition and multiplication, if we're talking about whole number to whole number. So, four times what number equals 200? Four times, if you don't know, what's the inverse of multiplication division? You could do 200 divided by four, if you don't know four times what. Four, buddy, times what number gets close to two without going over? Nothing. Bring down the zero. Buddy, four times what number gets close to 20 without going over? Four times five is 20. And four times what is zero? Zero. And so our answer is 50. Four times 50 equals 200. Now, if it's a pattern, it'll work for all of these. So let's double check that it works for the next one. Eight, if our x to our y is eight, times 50, oops, that's not what we square. Eight is our X, Y is um, 400. Let's see if eight times 50 equals 400. If so, this is our correct pattern. If not, we made a mistake while multiplying. Eight times five is 40, so that is correct. So our pattern is multiply by 50, because it worked for this one, and it worked for this one, and I'll guarantee if you try 12 times 50, it will equal 600. Or if you do 600 divided by 50, it'll equal 12. Now, if we want to solve the missing variable, because this one was missing, um, although this is the answer key, they kind of filled in for you. All we'd have to do is take our x and multiply it by our pattern, which is times 50. So our x is 16, and we're going to multiply it by our pattern, 50. 0 times 6 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0. Second number, second row, one placeholder for now. 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8, so 800. Now let's do one more to make sure that this kind of makes a little bit more sense. So we're talking about the number of pounds. This right here is our x. And we're talking about our total cost. And this right here is our Y. I accidentally flipped it, but that's okay. In terms of 
This one I underlined and circled. This one I kind of squared then underlined. But how do we get from our X to our Y? This arrow right here is the pattern that we're doing. Um, it's our rule. So how do we get from 3, which is our X, to 12? And make sure that you're comparing the two numbers that are corresponding to each other, the two that are in the same row, um, or the same column. I'm sorry, rows go this way, columns go this way. So 3, and they want you to multiply, times what will equal 12? 3 times 4 is 12. So if you do 6 times 4, it's going to equal 24. 9 times 4 equals 36. 12 times 4 equals 48. What do you do here? You multiply by the same pattern or same rule, which is multiply by 4. 18 times 4. And once you figure that out, you'll get that one. Um, as you can see, there's not too many problems to go through. Um, however, showing your work is going to be crucial, and I want you kind of showing it out more like this. I'm not going to do that for this one um, because I don't want to give too many answers right now, um, considering that there's not too much work to do. But if you have any questions, we could go through it during class today. Before I let you add it, I do want to go over one of the word problems that, that um, no longer looks like a chart. So a map's key shows that every five inches on the map represents 200 miles of actual distance. Suppose the distance between two cities on the map is seven inches. What is the actual distance between the two cities? Write the rule you use to find the actual distance. This is kind of like that one lesson where they're giving us data and we have to create our own coordinate grid almost. If we know that five inches, right here, five inches, this is our X, and it represents 200 miles to our Y, how do you get to 200 miles? Now, we don't have to worry too much about the inches and miles right now. But how do we get from the 5 to the 200? And look at how we did that before. We're finding that pattern. Once you find this pattern, you're going to do the same thing for 7 and whatever this answer is. So what you're going to do is you're going to find that rule. 5 times what number is 200? Then you're going to use this rule and plug it into here. 7 times whatever is the same one here, because in, or in order to... For it to be a pattern, it has to be the same, and then you'll find your answer. And then that would help you. Um, make sure when you read through this, you create your XY and you look at the input and the output. All right, good luck.